What's up, dude and dudettes? This is Frogger2K9, and today I'm bringing you a UMP gameplay. And I actually carry my team in this one. You'll find out whether we win or lose at the end. But I did try extremely hard, and I end up getting the top of the leaderboard. So, you know, hooray to me. I believe we were playing against a, a small team of about four people. I, I'm taking a guess at that. It looked like four people were in this game communicating with each other quite well. Anyway, today is not about the gameplay. It's actually about different gameplay. To be honest with you, it's about Black Ops 2. So, am I getting it? Yes. Why? Because of zombies. Zombies is definitely coming back. There was a quote from a member of, I believe it was Activision, who said, Zombies is now a, a big part of of Treyarch, and he wouldn't be surprised if they were to bring back the series. Now, this to me, it's not a direct quote, so don't actually quote me on that. I don't know if it's actually like that, but, you know, I, I get as close as I can. Anyway, as far as I can tell, this means that... Zombies is definitely coming back. Zombies is amazing. Like, I can't explain how good Zombies is. You you just have to play it. If you want to test Zombies out, you have to play it. Anyway, so yeah, I will definitely be getting it because of Zombies. Multiplayer, I don't care anymore. To be honest with you, I feel Treyarch are not very, not very good at making multiplayers. I don't know whether it's just them, or whether it's something in the company that just doesn't flow right, but their multiplayers ju don't just... Since World of War, World of War was a good multiplayer, one of the best, like uh, Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 and World of War, to me, were the best multiplayers out there. I had hours and hours and hours of enjoyment out of them, and I still get hours of enjoyment out of them if I can get into a non-hack lobby. But... Anyway, yeah, so they were the best multiplayers out there, because I spent hours on them. I mean, you know, with Modern Warfare 3, I spend five minutes on it, and I'm pissed off, and I'm leaving. You know, Dead Man's Hand kills me, that's an insta-leave. I, I turn off the game most of the time if I get killed by Dead Man's Hand. Yeah. So, what, what does this equal? Well, this equals, you know, bad multiplayer. If you put something into the game to help somebody who can't, play properly, you know. If you want to help people that can't play properly, make it harder. You know, you don't you don't see you don't see other game developers doing it. I mean, you know, let's let's take a look at Valve for example, you know. They they have a very, very, very difficult game called Counter Strike. And, you know, I don't see bad players rolling around there all the time. You know, there are servers to help you slowly get better, but they don't provide you game-breaking mechanics to insta-win your gunfights. <coughs> Dead man's hand. <coughs> yeah, so... Don't provide them with game mechanics. Provide them with a game, you know? Provide them with difficulty. People don't learn from success. People learn from failure. Uh, let's take Lightbulb, for example, you know? Didn't just find... He didn't find, you know, he didn't fail, he just found that many ways of not making a light bulb, you know, it's, it's, it goes the same with games, you know, if you come up to a gunfight, you didn't lose the gunfight 50 times in a row, you found 50 different ways of not having a gunfight, but if you provide them with a game mechanic that insta wins for them, you know, it, it's just as bad as aimbots. It's just as bad as God mode. You know, don't provide them with game mechanics that insta win for them. I've, I'm glad that you changed the nuke and the way it works, so that it only it only causes the devastation that a nuke caused rather than the game end. You know, that, that was that was not good, especially when you had the boosters come along. That was awful. So several things that I want to come out of Black Ops. First of all. Bring back zombies. Make them better. Keep innovating because zombies has just grown and grown and grown to be a massive part of Treyarch. You know, so 
definitely bring back zombies. I enjoy it so, so much. Like, I can't explain how much I enjoy zombies. I, I can spend hours on there. It reminds me of, like, Mario 64 and, and Spyro. I will always go back to them games because they still provide me with hours of enjoyment. I can sit for a five minutes on Spyro and have a smile on my face because it's just so awesome. But again, I can sit there for 10 seconds on Call of Duty, especially the multiplayer, and end up in a complete rage. What? I don't know. Yeah, I can do the same with Battlefield, you know. I can sit there for 10 minutes and I'm, I'm quite happy because they, they haven't catered to the to the lower side of their uh, of their um of their customer base the you know the side that can't play properly why because they know that they're going to lose their dedicated fan base you know call of duty has a dedicated fan base and they're lucky that they're still with them really really lucky you know if if counter strike suddenly started catering to all these new players that can't really play properly you know they'd lose their dedicated fan base as well and i can guarantee you that you know people who are dedicated fans of counter strike will leave if they start bringing in like if they were to bring in dead man's hand into counter strike they would lose half of their customer base why because you know people just don't like it I've seen people transfer from Call of Duty to Battlefield simply because it doesn't have this bull crap of Dead Man's Hand and Last Stand and Marty Dom. You know, all these different things. Like Painkiller. Painkiller was a pain in the ass. Like, if it was just Juggernaut, that wouldn't be so bad. But it's like three times the power of Juggernaut. It's like, you know, I'm going to give you three times the power of Juggernaut. So, what's the downside? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nope. Nothing. Okay. I... No. No thanks. No, no. No, no. Anyway. Uh, let's take the Juggernaut, for example, in this game. You know, the, the kill streak, the Juggernaut, or the point streak, the Juggernaut. It's a pretty damn good point streak. I gotta admit, you know, it's pretty well balanced. Some may say not, but it is, you know, especially the difference between the two juggernauts. I reckon the one um, the one on the support is a little little bit overpowered because uh, I just don't like I don't like uh, support streaks that kill. But if the juggernaut was to have his pistol taken away, then he would be perfectly well balanced, you know. But if he was to have his pistol taken away, the FMG9 Akimbo's would just he would he wouldn't even have a fighting chance you know he wouldn't have a chance to fight back which is unfair but um, to take the uh, assault juggernaut for example that's a pretty well balanced juggernaut because he's, he's pretty easy to take down if you are managing to fight him properly you need to fight them properly luring him around a corner and having two of your friends there all of all of you shooting at him at the same time with nice high rate of fire guns and you will take down the juggernaut really quickly you know, it's all about tactics, really, and uh, that brings me on to the next thing: tactics. I want this new Call of Duty to have to have tactics. You have to have tactics to win. You can't. You you know, n no panic knifing. Panic knifing is one of the things that pisses me off. I use it sometimes, but since I changed to tactical, to be honest with you, I I don't use knifing so much, and I have, I've actually started to win more gunfights because sometimes I I will accidentally push the knife button. And since I've changed to tactical, no accidental knifing, so, you know, they do provide you with other options, but because it's default, people insta-panic knife, and, you know, you seize up on your controller when you panic, and that's where it comes from, the seizing up on your controller and instantly getting a kill, it's, it's, not, it's not fair, really. So, I say, put tactical as the default layout, and uh, that will solve some of your problems, but then... For the ones that realise, will change back, but it will limit it. And limiting the number, you'll see a massive difference if you just limit the number slightly. You don't even need to go through huge, huge changes, you know. Just just small changes and you'll find out that you'll be making your dedicated fan base a little bit more dedicated, you know. So, message to Treyarch out there. Make your fan base happy and you'll keep... So, map balance. I won't say anything else other than map balance. Tactical insurgents.
gone, please. They're useless. They're pointless. Nobody likes them. I don't like them. Because of one simple reason. Nobody uses them properly. And I say that, and some people may use them properly, but I say nobody uses them properly because all I ever see is campers using them. You know, no, not campers, sorry. I hate it when people use that term. Why do I use that term? I don't know. I'm a hypocrite. There we go. Anyway, uh, boosters, that's the one. Boosters. Boosters suck. Get rid of the tactical insertion, and you'll get rid of the boosters. Simple as. Bring back cage matches. Let the boosters have their cage match so they can stay off the public lobbies. You know, all well and good, you provide us with this system to report the boosters, but then again, that's useless if certain things don't happen properly. And there's a lot of times where things don't happen properly and, you know, the boosters do get by. Simple as, you know, give them back their cage match and get rid of the tactical insertion. As far as kill streaks go, please keep innovating in the kill streaks. I love the setup they got now. If you provide a setup where you die and you don't lose your kill streak, please make sure there's no killing kill streaks in there. <coughs> Stealth bomber. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, here you go. Final kill. Well done. Who's a clever lad? Yep. So uh, that happened. Spoon Froggy 2K9. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Happy days, guys.